on the night of December 2, 1984, chemical methyl isocyanate split out from Union Carbide India Ltd's chemical factory, which turned the city of Bhopal into a colossal gas chamber. It was India's first major industrial disaster. At least 30 tons of methyl isocyanate gas killed more than 15,000 people and affected over 6 lakh workers. Bhopal gas tragedy is known as world's worst industrial disaster. In this video, we are going to know about 7 topics. Number 1. What is methyl isocyanate? Number 2. Warning bell before the Bhopal gas tragedy. Number 3. How methyl isocyanate leak happened? Number 4. Impact of methyl isocyanate leak. Number 5. Government's response to Bhopal tragedy. Number 6. Bhopal after decades of the tragedy. Number 7. Methyl isocyanate chemical reactions on health. So first we'll see what is methyl isocyanate. Methyl isocyanate is a colorless liquid used for making pesticides. MIC is safe when maintained properly. The chemical is highly reactive to heat. When exposed to water, the compounds in MIC react with each other causing a heat reaction. Methyl isocyanate is no longer in production although it is still used in pesticides. The Bayer Crop Science Plant Institute in West Virginia is currently the only storage location of MIC left across the globe. Number 2. Warning Bell Before the Bhopal Gas Tragedy in 1969, the UCIL factory was made to produce Seven, a pesticide using methyl isocyanate as an intermediate. In 1976, trade unions in Bhopal complained of pollution within the plant. A few years later, a worker accidentally inhaled a large amount of toxic phosgene gas, leading to his death a couple of hours later. Observing the events, a journalist began investigating the plant and also published his findings in Bhopal's local paper saying, Wake up people of Bhopal, you are on the edge of a volcano. Two years before the tragedy struck Bhopal, around 45 workers who were exposed to phosgene were admitted to a hospital. Between 1983 and 1984, there were leaks of phosgene, carbon tetrachloride, methyl isocyanate and monomethylamine. Point number 3. How methyl isocyanate leak happened? Union Carbide India's Bhopal facility housed 368,000 litre MIC storage tanks E610, E611 and E619. Months before the tragedy, MIC production was in progress and was being filled in the tanks. No tank was allowed to be filled more than 50% of its capacity and the tank was pressurized with inert nitrogen gas. The pressurization allowed liquid MIC to be pumped out of each tank. However, one of the tanks, E610, lost the ability to contain nitrogen gas pressure, hence liquid MIC could not be pumped out of it. As per the rules, each of the tanks could not be filled with more than 30 tons of liquid MIC, but this tank had 42 tons. This failure forced UCIL to halt methyl isocyanate production in Bhopal and the plant was partly shut for maintenance. An attempt was made to make the defective tank functional again on December 1. However, the attempt failed. By then, most of the plant's methyl isocyanate related safety systems were malfunctioning. According to reports, by December 2 eve, water had entered the malfunctioning tank which resulted in runaway chemical reaction. The pressure in the tank increased 5 times by night. By midnight, the workers in the MIC area started feeling the effects of MIC gas. The decision to address the leak was to be made a couple of minutes later. However, by then, the chemical reaction in the tank had reached a critical state. About 30 tons of MIC escaped from the tank into the atmosphere within an hour. Most Bhopal residents were made aware of the gas leak by exposure to the gas itself. Point number 4. Impact of Methyl Isocyanate Leak Doctors were not aware of proper treatment methods for this incident. 
methyl isocyanic gas leak killed more than 15000 people and affected over 6 lakh workers the stillbirth rate and neonatal mortality rate increased by up to 300% and 200% respectively the gas leak impacted trees and animals too within a couple of days trees in the nearby area became unproductive bloated animal carcasses had to be disposed of people ran on the streets vomiting and dying the city ran out of cremation grounds point number 5 government's response to bhopal tragedy until then the indian government had never dealt with a disaster like this legal proceedings between india ucc and the us began right after the catastrophe the government passed the bhopal gas leak act in march 1985 which allowed it to act as the legal representative for victims while the ucc initially offered a 5 million dollar relief fund to india the government turned down the offer and demanded 3.3 billion dollars eventually an out of court settlement was reached in february 1989 Union Carbide agreed to pay 470 million dollars for the damages caused. The Supreme Court of India also laid down guidelines for the money the family of the dead were to be given. Rupees 1 lakh to rupees 3 lakh. In addition, fully or partially disabled were to get rupees 50000 to 5 lakhs and those with temporary injury rupees 25000 to 1 lakh. The Apex Court asked UCIL to voluntarily fund a hospital in Bhopal to treat victims of the tragedy. In June 2010, seven former employees of UCIL who were all Indian nationals were convicted of causing death by negligence and sentenced to 2 years of imprisonment. However, they were later released on bail. Point number 6. Bhopal after over 3 decades of the tragedy. As the legal battles were on in India and the US, Dow Chemical Company successfully took over UCC in 2001 after which it became a wholly owned subsidiary. Thereafter, Dow claimed that UCC did not have any responsibility towards the tragedy as it was legally a new company with new ownership. Ingrid Ackerman in her book The Bhopal Saga recalls what a victim told her. Death would have been a great relief. It's worse to be a survivor. More than 30 years later, there is no closure in the case. Thousands of survivors of the Bhopal gas tragedy continue to face a lack of healthcare facilities. After the factory was closed, whatever remained inside was sealed and kept there. Gas victims' welfare organizations have been demanding its removal for years. Many petitions have been lying in the High Court and the SC for removal of the plant's poisonous remains. Point number 7 Methyl isocyanate chemical reactions impact on health. Immediate health effects include ulcers, photophobia, respiratory issues, anorexia, persistent abdominal pain, genetic issue, neurosis, impaired audio and visual memory, impaired reasoning ability and a lot more. Long-term health effects include chronic conjunctivitis, decreased lung function, increased chromosomal abnormalities, impaired associate learning and more. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you want to know about the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you can watch the video on the left of your screen. Once again, thank you for watching this video.